Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly. This is K-Bella Beauty. And today I am here to review the Kylie Cosmetics Blue Honey Palette. Now I know this palette isn't brand new anymore. It's been around for a while, but it's new to me or new-ish. I've had this palette for about a month now and I've been trying it out. I did put this in my monthly makeup picks and I just wanted to make sure that I had all of my thoughts together so that I could form a good opinion and create a well-rounded review for you guys. So I will leave timestamps down below. I'm going to have swatches. I don't have a demo in this video. Typically when I do reviews I do have a demo but if you are interested in seeing the look that I created today, this is a look using the Blue Honey Palette. This look will actually be featured in a collab that I'm doing. I'm pretty sure this video is going to go up first, but once the collab video goes live, I will link that in the bottom bar. But I, I did a collab with my friend Mickey from Makeup Chef and several other girls here on YouTube, and I was talking about mauve lipstick looks and what kind of eye looks you could create with mauve lips and so I used this palette. So I mean that's a very long-winded way of saying I have a tutorial on, I have a tutorial on this look and it's coming. But there won't be a demo in this video. However, if you are interested in seeing a 3-in-1 tutorial look using this palette, let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I did get this palette for $38 and I ordered it straight from Kylie's website. It does have the cardboard packaging, but it's not like a cheap cardboard. I felt like with the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette that those palettes were made of like a cheaper cardboard material because I actually dug my nail into it one day on accident and poked a hole through it. These are much sturdier. It, it doesn't come with a mirror, so it just says Kylie's name on the top and then you have the nine eyeshadows inside. You do have the little teardrops with the shades that are in the palette. So the teardrops have some turquoise and rose gold. And then on the back, there's actually a little sticker that has the names of all of the eyeshadow palettes and my sticker is actually crooked, so if you have OCD, that would probably drive you a little bit crazy. The only thing I'm confused on is I'm not 100% sure how to read the names. Like, I don't know if I need to open it and then, like, Raw, which is the first shade that you see on the sticker, I'm not sure if that's the first shade in the palette or if they're, like, mimicked images, so it would be the third shade. But I, I'm pretty sure that you look at the palette and those are the names. So like if I peeled the sticker off and looked at them side by side, then I think that this first shade would be raw. And so in that case, you have raw followed by buzz off, followed by sweet like honey. And then in the second row, you have bumble, blue honey, and royal jelly. And then in the third row, you have busy bee, sweet thing, and honeymoon. And you do get 0 0.05 ounces in each shadow for a total of nine eyeshadows and it does say that Kylie's products are made in the USA. So like I said, the packaging, it's okay. It doesn't bother me that there's not a mirror because I typically don't use the mirror in the eyeshadow palettes when I'm creating a look, so I'm totally fine with that. But what really drew me into this palette were these two like blue shades. And I mean, that's where the name Blue Honey comes from. So you do have this like beautiful, I think this one's Royal Jelly. So it's like a greenish blue with a little bit of gold shift. And then you have a matte shade as well. I do also like that this Bumble shade is a very deep gold. I feel like I have plenty of champagne golds and true golds, but I don't have a deep gold like that shade. I'm glad that we have this orange shade, Sweet Like Honey, and then of course down on the bottom you have some bronzes. They're like definitely more like warm, mauve coppery bronze shades. You do have a shade that you can use for your brow bone if you are lighter complected. If you do have a darker complexion, I don't know that that would really be a highlight shade that you would want to use on your brow bone. There isn't a shimmery highlight shade because this shade in the middle here, Buzz Off, that definitely is more of like a rose gold shade and I wouldn't really, I have it on my inner corner today, but I wouldn't really consider that like a brow bone highlight. So I feel like you really only get this matte shade here. 
Like I said in the intro, I have been using this palette for a good month now. I have used every single shade, and so I definitely feel like I have formed a good opinion. I want to start by saying I think that that is a fair price, $38. I didn't mind paying $38 for nine eyeshadow shades. I feel like Kylie has kind of gotten some kickback on her pricing. A lot of people feel like her makeup items are overpriced, but I feel like for this eyeshadow palette, $38 was a fair price. You do get nine shades. You're getting .05 ounces. I don't, honestly, I don't know if that's a lot or a little bit, but the, the eyeshadow pans look like a large size to me. I don't know, let's compare them next to a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. So here is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Here are the Kylie eyeshadows. It looks like they're about the same pan size. Now, it doesn't, oh, it says you get 0 .064 ounces in the Makeup Geek and 0 .05 ounces in Kylie's, so I'm guessing the Makeup Geek is a little bit deeper of a pan, which I'm fine with because Eyeshadow palettes are not typically something that I'm running through very quickly. Now, initially, I was very drawn to this palette for the blue shades. Once I started using them, I didn't think that they performed the way that I necessarily expected them to. So you do have four shimmer shades. The mattes are beautiful. They blend out easily. They are very pigmented. But the shimmers, I feel like you need Fix Plus or water or to use your finger. I don't like the pigmentation that I get when I use just a brush alone. Now, I am typically someone who uses Fix Plus anyway when I'm using any kind of shimmer shade because I like the extra pop of color. But if you're someone who feels like inconvenienced by using some kind of setting spray with these shimmer shades, then you might be a little disappointed that way. Now, when I first saw this palette and when I first got it, I originally thought that this would be a palette that you could use to create everyday looks and pops of color, but I felt like it would be all encompassing and that you wouldn't necessarily need to pull other palettes in. But after using this, I feel like, I feel like you kind of get the same looks over and over again. I don't feel like I can create a huge variety. Now I'm not a makeup artist, so maybe it's just, you know, my error or whatnot, but I feel like every time I reach for this palette, I get the same kind of looks. And honestly, if I was traveling, this would not be a palette that I would grab because I feel like you're missing some key eyeshadows, like some kind of black to maybe do a liner or deepen up the crease or a shimmer highlight shade. I mean, you don't have stuff like that. Could you create looks using just this palette? I did today. This is the only palette that I used. But if I was traveling, this would not be the palette that I would wanna reach for because I just feel like, like I'm missing some things. And when I originally got this, I don't really know what I expected, but it didn't wow me, I guess, the way that I expected it to wow me. It, like I said, I just felt like I kept creating the same looks over and over. It almost reminded me of like, the Tartlet Toasted palette. Like I thought the shades were beautiful, but then you keep creating the same looks over and over. But I mean, if you like these shades, if you want to try Kylie Cosmetics and you don't mind spending the $38, then I would say go ahead and get it. It is a nice palette. Do I like it? Yes, I like it. I'm going to keep using it. I don't regret purchasing it. I've been wanting to try a Kylie eyeshadow palette and I'm glad that I got this one because it does have some unique shades. But if you're someone who's looking for that one palette that's going to be your go-to, that you can reach for every day, that you can create a lot of different looks with, and you're not necessarily someone who has a ton of palettes, I don't know that I would tell you to get this palette and it will be your holy grail. It's not going to be my holy grail. I like the shadows. I'm going to continue to use it, but it's probably not going to be like my everyday palette. I feel like this palette will be one that I reach for when I'm looking for a specific look. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. I hope that it wasn't too confusing. In all honesty, I do like the palette. I guess I could say, <coughs> 
So my friend Samantha March does her favorites videos where she does fails, finds, and favorites. And if I did a video like that, this would be a fine. It's not a fail. I like it. I'm glad I got it. I'm not mad about the $38, but it's not a favorite. I'm not going to reach for it constantly. Like I said, I will probably only reach for it when I want to create specific looks. I like it. It's good. If you are interested in this palette, I would say go ahead and get it if you don't mind spending the 38 bucks. But if you've been kind of teetering and you're thinking like, can this be my holy grail everyday palette, then I would say maybe pass on it and there's other stuff out there that you can get and kind of create similar looks with. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that you found it helpful. If you're interested in seeing a three-in-one tutorial where I do three different eye looks using this palette, let me know in the comments down below and I can do that. If you're interested in seeing this eye look that I have here, stay tuned. That's coming up. That video is going to be posted on April 28th. So I'm pretty sure this video is going to go up first. So my tutorial will follow. And once it's live, I will link it down below. But if you're not already subscribed, Make sure you do so before you go because I do post three videos a week, one on either Mondays or Tuesdays, depending on my Test It Out Tuesday series, one on Wednesdays, and one on Saturdays. Otherwise, you can catch me on my social medias. All of that will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.